tonight we're celebrating maker culture. Maker culture is important because it gives people the opportunity to shape their own world. Maker culture is an exciting way where people engage with existing culture uh, and remix it and transform it into interesting new ways. The combination of maker culture and public libraries um, is of pure symbiosis because essentially they are doing the same thing. But doing things with your hands is not really something that people think about when they think about libraries, especially public libraries. So we try to find a way to implement doing things with your hands and the whole concept of sharing what you do within the setting of a public library. We're very happy at Kennesland to celebrate this as we really believe that this contributes to education, culture and innovation in general. We also use maker culture to educate uh, the colleagues we have working in the libraries to make them think about Creative Commons, to make them think about uh, open knowledge. Because I feel it's the same, but a lot of my colleagues are still in the old-fashioned world of, okay, we're here to lend out books, which aren't ours. However, we're very saddened by the fact that European copyright law does not support maker culture and embrace it for the value that it has for society. And therefore at Kennesland we really argue for a more flexible copyright law that actually embraces this and supports maker culture for the value that it, that it has.